Hey guys, I'm Anjali and I'm the owner of the White Pearl Co. And today we're just gonna go over what to expect when you come visit the White Pearl Co. So commonly asked questions I get is which session should I choose? We have a new client option and that will go over your health history, dental history, your eating habits, dietary habits, and we can figure out which session is the best session for you. We offer two types of whitening, chemically activated and light activated. So the chemically activated doesn't require any light whatsoever, and the light activated requires the LED light to whiten. So my client today has never whitened before, and he has expressed that he has cigarette stains. So we're going to see what shade he's at and which session is going to be the best for him as well. He also has stated that he has sensitivity. So we'll go over how we get past that sensitivity and how to take care of it afterwards. We're gonna place some Vaseline on first. So we're gonna be open for a bit and we don't want his lips to get chapped. After we get the shade, we have you switch out your glasses for some red glasses so that this can protect your eyes from the LED light. So our next step is we're gonna take some gingival barrier to protect the gums. So we're gonna do that real quick. So we place the gingival barrier so that your gums are protected from the hydrogen peroxide. When we're using high levels of hydrogen peroxide and it comes in contact with the soft tissues, it can burn and it's considered a chemical burn. So you have to be very careful how you use these materials. We're going to apply this material in 15 minute increments. The material we're using is the White Pearl Co. Special Blend. FDA approved whitening system. And the majority of my clients don't experience sensitivity, but everyone is different. So if you do feel sensitivity, it can feel like little sudden shocks or pulses, and that is normal. It can happen while you're sitting in the chair or even up to 24 hours after your session. And although it doesn't typically happen, I do like to let my clients know so that way they're not surprised. We're gonna do 15 minutes. 15 minutes later. All right, so we're done with the first 15 minutes. So we're going to remove material and reapply another layer. How are you feeling? Thumbs up? Awesome. So at each 15, I'll reevaluate and see how light we've gotten. So we're still not, first 15, we're still not at the complete lightest. So we'll keep going. A few minutes later. So we are at the 30 minute mark. At this point, we will evaluate, see where he's at and if he's able to keep going. Because ultimately we would like to do an hour session, but sometimes our clients get a little tired. Maybe they are tired of having their mouth open. And at this point, we might recommend coming back within a week or two weeks to continue your treatment. Many, many minutes later. So we are removing all the gel and we'll have them go rinse out. We are done with the hour session. So we went from that color there down to about right there. So we are on the lighter end now. So we got two, four, six shades lighter. They look good. And in the next 24 hours, material continues to work so it can still get down those two extra shades. So we are done with the hour session. Our client got down six shades and it's going to continue to lighten for up to 24 hours. Uh, the only instructions we do have for aftercare is nothing dark to eat or drink. So that includes dark colored sodas, coffee, sauces, barbecue sauce, ketchup, salsas, soy sauce. We also recommend nothing cold to eat or drink to avoid any sensitivity. After we're done, if our client is complaining of any sensitivity, which sometimes some clients can feel a little bit of the shocks and pulses, we do apply the synthesizing agent for about 10 minutes, and that usually helps to remove any sensitivity.